Alright, so what's up guys? Today we're going to do an oil change on a 2016 MK7 uh, Golf R. Um, just got the car maybe two months ago, so it's going to be my first oil change on this car. Um, I've got everything I need here. Uh, just uh, six quarts of oil. Um, I think the car takes 5.9, but it's good to have a little bit left over. We've obviously got the um, Volkswagen um, OEM filter. We've got a 32 millimeter socket for um, the oil filter bolt or cover. And then obviously a um, flathead screwdriver uh, for the the uh, oil pan. So, um, so we're going to get started here. First things first, you got to take off the um, a uh, motor cover just so you can get your bolt on, or you can get your um, socket on the uh, 32 millimeter bolt here on the oil filter cover. Um, and then we're going to get underneath the car to uh, drain the oil. So uh, let's get started. Okay. Just going to go ahead and take off the uh, motor cover just so I can get the socket on the oil cover, oil filter cover easier. And um, so obviously open my oil spout, drain, or whatever you want to call it, open so when you drain the oil it comes out a little bit quicker. And then I just usually like to crack these open for the same purposes. put that on last time you put that way too tight I'm gonna crack that open now we're gonna get underneath the car and drain the oil more than likely you guys won't be able to see any of this because my camera is pretty crappy and I obviously have no lights as I am a huge noob and this is the first plastic oil drain plug I have ever seen in my life but um, we're gonna let this drain for about 15 20 minutes let it do its thing okay so I'm gonna go ahead and undo the oil filter now I need a towel hopefully it's not dripping a gang of oil like it is so I'm gonna let that let that sit there for a few minutes okay We got the oil filter out. We're gonna put the new one in. Slide it down until it clicks, and we're gonna go ahead and change out the. Hey, we're gonna go ahead and change out the uh, rubber O-ring here. We're gonna go ahead and put this on, and um, clean up this case a little bit and install it back simply slide it down and um, threader on then there just make sure to make sure that all the threads are lined up before you start putting a bunch of pressure on it it's um, it's plastic on you know metal so you can tear those threads up pretty easy so just go ahead and hand tighten it on there until you are for sure that it is um, tightened on and then just go ahead and there you go not too much pressure and uh, now we're going to get back underneath the car and use the new drain plug that VW provided me with and um, go ahead and close up the bottom um, there's a little click that's supposed to happen when you put this in so let's make sure we hear that okay so it's come down to a really slow, very small stream now. I'm going to go ahead and put the new drain plug in. 
and uh, clean up any of the little excess oil. You're supposed to be able to hear a little click. That wasn't it, that was my screwdriver jumping. Uh, it just actually fits right into place, it doesn't actually click. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a paper towel. Wipe up a little extra oil down here. That's the first plastic drain plug I have ever used. So yeah, it's just got a little notch and it just notches right into place. So it kind of takes the guessing game out to know if you have torqued down your drain bolt tight enough. So anyway, let's go back up top, put some oil in the car. There's something definitely satisfying about first changing your oil and then second of all, actually pouring oil is very satisfying. I don't know why, it's just kind of like putting in that new, new. And I have definitely noticed over the years on turbo cars that after a fresh oil change, I think it definitely does uh, pick up a few horsepower. <laughs> I don't know if it picks up any horsepower or if it just feels like it, but maybe it's a placebo effect. You just always feel like your car is just kind of running how it should right after a fresh oil change. So that's Okay, so we just put the oil back in the motor. I'm going to close everything up here, drop it off the ramps or the jacks and uh, check to make sure that the oil level is where it needs to be. Okay, so here's actually a quick tip that I'll show you guys that I do quite frequently. Um, whenever I'm done changing my oil and I need a place to put the, dispose, the old oil, um, instead of trying to, I mean, I always put them back in the filters and then, or the jugs and then take it back to wherever I bought it from, you know, for them to dispose of it, Pet Boys, AutoZone, wherever it is. Um, a lot of people just do this, pour it in, you spill oil around sometimes, you know, this overflows or whatever. I always put it inside of an old bucket and then put obviously the oil, um, the, uh, <laughs> the uh, funnel in the jug or the bucket. So then when I pour it, if anything spills, you don't have to clean anything up just inside the bucket. So. Just an old trick of the trade that I've learned after a million oil changes. And it's not coming up yet, so there was definitely less than five quarts of oil. And there's my old drain pipe. Definitely. All right, so I got the oil back in. The oil level was great on the dipstick, and um, I'm going to go ahead and reset the counter on the oil meter now in the car. Um, I usually don't really pay too much attention to those anyway because I think it sets it back for like 10,000 miles. I usually change my oil every five or 6,000. Um, I just always like to keep fresh oil in my car. I do quite a few track days, so the fresher oil in the car can't hurt anything. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, check out the next video. Probably by the time you see this, I'll probably have already been to the track, uh, but I'm definitely going to make another video about that. Um, basically going to the track, taking a few friends, taking the Golf R. Um, obviously, it's stock stock tire stack, stock brakes, stock suspension. The only thing it has is just the basic uh, JB4 tune that you guys have already seen the video of. Um, anyway, that was how you change your oil on a 2016 or any MK7 Golf R. Thanks.